I have a message for you and this is about the rapture. Well, many people have been having various dreams about the rapture. And this shows how Jesus is coming back very soon. The rapture is true. Well, you may have heard some people who are saying the rapture is not true. But the rapture is true. Jesus is coming back very soon. Yes, of course, there they may have been uh, messages. There may have been people who, are, who have had dreams, who have claimed to have dreams, rapture dreams, which are not, yet, which are not really rapture dreams. Because there are some things that you may think it's a dream from God, and yet it's not a dream from God. Listen, the devil, the enemy himself, can also give dreams to people. So you need to have a spirit of discernment when you're listening to these dreams. Is it God is what? Well, uh, if you do not know how God speaks, I made a video of how to uh, on how to listen to God's voice clearly. And God speaks in various ways through dreams, visions. He can speak through your friends. So make sure you listen to that video because it's going to help you. So there are people, there are people who are having genuine dreams about rapture and there are those who the dreams are not genuine. It does not match up with the word of God. So you need to be very careful on what you listen to. It must align with the word of God. If you have a dream, or if someone says that I have a word from you, from the Lord, it must align with the word of God. And this calls for people to know the word of God. In, most of, in all my videos, I've been encouraging people to read the scriptures for themselves. Do not just listen to something that seems good, to something that, uh, that feels good to listen to. It must be the word of God. So dreams are real. And what is the rapture? What, what is it when people talk about rapture? Actually, the word, the word rapture means caught up. In the scriptures, it says that, 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 that at the last trumpet, it says that we shall, we shall all be changed in a twinkling of an eye. Then it says that, that, that the dead in Christ will rise up first. Then those who are alive, who are still alive, will be caught up in the clouds, in the air, to meet the Lord. So that's why the word rapture comes about. It means caught up. And listen, do not prepare yourself to be left out. Because I've, I've had people are saying that what happens if we are left, we left behind? Because those that are left behind, it will be very terrible. The reason as to why the Lord Jesus takes, takes away the church, the believers, the reason as to why the rapture happens is because he wants to save them from tribulation. God is a loving God. He wants to save you. So do not be prepared to, let, to, to be left behind. Prepare yourselves for the return of Jesus. God is coming back very soon. Jesus is coming back. And are you ready for his return? Well, I'm a person who has many dreams from the Lord. God speaks to me in various ways. And dreams are one of the areas that I'm gifted at. And there are some dreams that I have that I keep to myself. And there are some dreams that I share out to people. There are some dreams that are personal, that are for my self-development. 
And there are some dreams that are, 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 are for, for the world that I, that I share out to the church, to the believers. So uh, I also made a video about uh, the dreams, uh, the dream I had from the Lord. If you have not yet listened to that video, I encourage you to watch the video because it's going to bless you. It's going to encourage you. So be ready for the return of Jesus. The rapture is very near. This message is not a message to make you feel discouraged, to make you feel scared. But this is a message of hope. This is a message of edification. This is a message to comfort you. Just as the scripture says, these words shall comfort you. These are words of hope. Jesus is coming back very soon. You may be atheist. You may be a scientist. But this is not about religion. This is not about your beliefs. Now, the reason as to why you are, you are atheist or a scientist or a non-believer and you find yourself listening to such videos is because God is trying to speak to you. God is trying to send a message out to you. you there's something deep inside you that is searching for the truth. But there, there's again another thing that is holding you up, up, down. Your mindset. Your professor's words are holding you down. But you need to let go. You need to open up your mind. Because Jesus is coming back very soon. Listen. Do not wait for yourself to die. And find yourself in hell. Because there is no second chance. There is no much greater love that you receive than the love that Jesus did for you. His death 2,000 years ago when he died on that cross he loved you so much. God loves you, child of God. It is time to let go of what has been holding you down. It is time to let go. It is time to focus. So when the rapture can happen anytime, it can even happen right now as we are speaking. It can happen in two weeks time. It can happen in a few months. It can happen in a few years. Listen, the scripture says that you do not know the day. For the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord shall come like a thief in the night. For those who are living in darkness, they will not know. But those who are in light, those who are living in light, will be prepared for the day of the Lord. They will be ready. Because they, 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 they will not be slumbering. Do not slumber. Do not sleep. Do not allow false doctrines to lie to you. Do not allow people to say that Jesus is here. That Jesus has come back. When Jesus returns, the whole world will see him. The whole world will experience the King of Kings. So do not give room for false doctrines. Read the scriptures for yourself. Understand them. Meditate on the word day and day. Test the spirits. If someone says that I had a rapture dream, if someone says I had a word from God, test the spirits. Just as Gideon in the scriptures tested the spirit. Test the spirit. Because one thing that the enemy lacks is consistency. He is never consistent. Test the spirits.
Not everyone who comes and performs a miracle is of God. Not everyone who comes and prophesies is from God. Test the spirits, brothers and sisters. We are living in the last days. Guard yourselves. Be blessed.